So this is day two after we've started moving off Holly's litter to wean them. These are the two kits that we moved yesterday morning. <clears throat> you can see everybody's per perfectly happy, healthy, bopping around, just looking for me to refresh pellets. I am going to move up to more of the kits this morning. There are two that are the same size but smaller than the other four. So I think they could use an extra day or two with mom for whatever that's worth. And then they'll come up here too. We'll just make sure that there's plenty of feed and water so that nobody's really competing with for feed. You know, even if say at feeding time, those those two maybe have to wait their turn. As long as there's plenty in there, well, these other guys can only eat so much. They're not going to eat it all and everybody will still get food. So it will be all good. So I have added one more crock. This is the same style as the two that I showed yesterday. It is a larger, I think maybe a 12 ounce size where the other two I think are eight, um, something around that. You know, so it's a little bit bigger, um, still small enough. And because of the, the shape of it, this isn't really something that at this stage they hop into too much. You know, it has the locking removable bowl. I did top up the water. It was over half full this morning. So I think we still have plenty of room there for that. And we can see in these dishes, these guys have a little bit of pellet left, but obviously if we put two more in here, there that's not gonna be enough for all four. So, you know, we'll see how this is in the morning. We'll probably add another dish, especially once we add the other two again, especially I will definitely add another dish just to make sure we're, we're hitting that kind of free feed scenario. You know, having a little bit left in the dishes in the morning is fine because that means they, they weren't hungry, they didn't eat it all. They also have the full hay rack, which doesn't seem like they did too much with. So I'm gonna top up these feed dishes. I will add some more in here as well. We've got the bucket down here. And Otto visiting in the rabbit tree. Fill these right up because these are grow outs. We're not worrying about overfeeding anybody. This is not a scenario like a, a breeder who will be concerned about them getting too fat. Certainly not going to happen here. And like I said, these are grow outs, 18% pellet and growth is our goal. So now I'm going to come down here, see who we've got. I want to move that bigger white one and one of these broken is a little bigger than the other which I think is actually this one over here. Oh. Yeah. yeah, so now that I can see them over there with the others, it is, in fact, this one. A little bit difficult to do with one hand. So there we go, pop that one right up. Go for the bigger white one here. Sorry about the camera yeah. action. It's a little bit difficult to get everybody with one hand. Pop him up. And we're good. Um, again, I haven't sexed these yet. I'll do that in a couple of weeks when I start separating them out. But one thing I did do this morning was I finished off taking weights on this litter. And the weights we've got, you can see on our tracker here, we are the smallest we have is 2.6 ounces. A good rate of growth is two and a half pounds by six weeks. So maybe a hair under, but not bad. You know, we've... We didn't lose any kits in this litter either, so it is possible that one of these is a survived runt. Um, but everyone's pretty even, no one's significantly small. We've got some actually really excellent growth rates. Um, three of these are well over three pounds, at or well over three pounds, which is a, a really excellent growth rate. Some of them are even higher than that. So we've got a good rate here. I did note on the tracker when we weaned them, six weeks old, um, you know what they're eating, 18% pellet and hay. That's just, I keep track of that a little bit just to, that is typical for the whole rabbitry, but I do, if I just, just do note it because if I do do something like experiment with a 16% pellet or something, then I can compare that to other litters and see how things go and grow. I did actually do that once and my feeling was that it wasn't worth the small savings on the cost of the pellets for the the rate of growth. It wasn't a bad rate of growth. I wouldn't say don't do it. I'm just saying I was happier with the 18. 
So I went back to the 18 and that's what I'm feeding. So that's where we're at. Um, either tomorrow or the day after I'll move these last two. Everybody's got plenty of feed, happy, healthy. You know, again, these are not stressed out rabbits. This is obviously not stressful for these kits. This is just part of life in nature. So everyone's good. We're ready to go and these guys are thriving and I expect that they will continue to do so. And in a day or two, we'll be starting to move Aster's kits again as well. And I will be breeding back Holly and then we'll, we'll start it all over again. We do have down in the bottom two other litters. These guys are about two and a half weeks old and they have just started to come out and about and everyone's looking great there too. So my goal for this next round of breeding is that hopefully we'll get this litter size up. I do have a feeling that our litter size might be, might've been a little small this fall because we had some seriously hot weather here this summer. So I, I suspect we might've had a touch of heat sterility um, or at least low sperm count due to that. And hopefully that'll come up. On Holly, I'm particularly watching her counts over her litters. They're not bad, but she is over three years old now. So as her, as her litter sizes, if they continue to reduce in number, that will tell me it's it's time to retire her and replace her. But for now, I'm still happy. She's such a good mother. I'm happy with six out of her. And frankly, she still gave me the largest litter this fall. So no complaints there. So that is the process of weaning rabbits. Really, there's nothing to it. It's really easy. Good care, good maintenance, good feed program. I wouldn't expect any issues for you. And if you'd like to read more about it, read more in detail, come on over to meetrabbits.org where we have a full article there with the videos in it as well. And, you know, again, happy to take your questions and comments, leave them and, and maybe what I can answer in the comments I will. If it's more complex, more involved, it might become an article or a topic for another day. Thank you.